Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this fruity peak controller technique on how you can convert the signal to be bipolar. So what this means is that when we have a peak controller and let's say that we want to modulate the pitch of citrus. So I have modulation X enabled and I've linked the pitch in there. So like that. And I want to modulate the pitch, like make a vibrato, for example. And I have the peak controller here and I've enabled the output. So number three LFO, I'm just gonna turn this off for now. So now that I've connected that to Citrus, what happens is this. So the problem with this is that the pitch doesn't stay consistent. So it's like it just starts from the bottom. So this is not a bipolar adjustment. So a bipolar would be similar to the envelope controller. So here we can see that when I adjust the LFO, it'll start from the center. So it has like a negative side and a positive side. So what if we want to use fruity peak controller specifically and change it into this type of behavior? We can do this using the formula controller. So in the formula controller, enable the A parameter and then the output and then connect the peak controller into the formula controller. And here we have this formula where A is the base level. So in A, we have our LFO. So now if I turn that up, we can see that A is moving. And then B is the range. So now when I adjust this, this is what happens. And this is what it sounds like. So now we have the change happening on both the negative and the positive sides. So the vibrato sounds like it's in tune, at least in the beginning. So what is this formula doing? I'm going to go over it real quick. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So the way that this behaves without anything being connected to it. If A is at zero, B is gonna jump to the negative side when we adjust it. So it's gonna go from center to the bottom. And then if A is at full, B is gonna do the opposite. So it's gonna go from full to the center. And 0 0.5 is used here specifically because like this full range goes from 0 to 1. So 0 0.5 represents the midpoint. So I'm sure that you've noticed in FL and certain plugins, some knobs are kind of bi-directional. So they have a positive and a negative side. So when you turn them to the right, they're positive. And when you turn them to the left, they're negative. But then some knobs start from zero and go to one. So all the way left is zero and all the way right is one. And some of you might wonder like, what about this base knob over here? Would that help? So here's what the base value does. It'll set the very lowest part of this LFO curve. So it doesn't set the midpoint, it sets the lowest point. So if I change this, then our sine wave is just going to start building up from here. And this is only like the bottom of it. And a couple of possible reasons why you would want to use the peak controller instead of the envelope controller might be this menu because you can activate this menu and you can directly access it here and connect it to the surface side so you can change your LFO shape. But if you use the envelope controller, 
it would be a lot more complicated to create these types of clear cut options. So you would have to like make some kind of a formula controller <laughs> setup where you can adjust the different parameters like pulse width and skew and it would just be difficult. Or you would need to use multiple operators and make each operator a different shape and then do some kind of a selector setup, which would involve a lot more formula controllers than this. And also with the envelope controller, you can't directly make a perfect square using the LFO, like you could loop an envelope, but this way you have a perfect square. So if you want to connect this new knob, this new bipolar LFO amount knob into the surface, all you need to do is activate it. And then I have this random knob here. I'm just gonna connect that. And now we can adjust the LFO strength using this knob. So yeah, I think that does it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and share this video and I will see you in the next one.